Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Dead Space. So last time we actually uh, broke in our way into the medical labs with the thermite charge that we made. And now we're actually gonna go and get the the freaking uh, the, the rig from the captain. God, that, that was hard to say. Sorry. So, yeah. So first things first, I see that there's a... Uh, power core right here. I'm guessing we have to plug that in right over here. Well, obviously we'll have to, but I mean, uh, I might as well just point it out. <laughs> because why not? So, yeah, we're gonna... Oh, God. Can, can we go back? This doesn't look like somewhere I want to be. Hey! I can come back to that, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'll find a uh, power node somewhere in this area. Who knows? Boom, boom. Hey. Hey, get back here, buddy. God, those freaking tentacles. Jeez. They're so hard to freaking hit. Oh, hey. I do not want to deal with that, buddy. You know what? Burn, baby, burn, burn, baby. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that whatsoever. How much do we have left? You know what? Let's use our uh, pulse rifle for a little bit because we're we're very we're right, running low on that. And on the plasma cutter, so I might mean we might as well switch for a little bit. So yeah. Okay. Hello. Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. Hello. Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You oh, killed crap. that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! Crap! That could have been way better, but I guess, uh, that's not the case for us, huh? Oh my god. So we're... Oh god, that, that could have been way better. <laughs> I was expecting all of them to come out at me. I mean, seriously. That was surprising. Okay, I don't need oxygen, so I'm fine with that. Um, how much health do we have? You know what? I can uh, refill one more time. Uh, leading us with full health. And now we just need to head into the intensive care unit. And now I'm gone. No. Hey. What's up? <laughs> what are you doing to him, ma'am? Um, please. Okay. That was pretty awful. And there's a baby. That does not look good whatsoever. We got a science log. Not gonna read it. Because, uh, when do I ever read the logs? Alrighty then. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet site psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. You mean we need solutions, and we need them now? That looks brutal. Oh my god. Uh, 
What's up, buddy? deal with that. No! Oh crap. No, 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 no. Oh come on, die. And now I'm screwed. Damn! Okay, at least I shot off that guy's head. I mean, that's better than nothing. Please, just lose your arm. God. Oh my god, that that was terrifying. So it's received and they oh look god. Good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. So basically you just saw right there the overpowered uh necromorphs. Now the one problem with the them are they will kick my ass. Their uh, skin, their limbs are harder to cut off, and uh, they're more deadly. Let's put that in perspective. I think they mainly like to run at me, if I'm correct, uh, from my last experience playing this. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to go unlock that room that was locked over here. Um, because, you know, why not? And... I don't think they'll respawn, so I think I'll be good. So well, let's just quickly uh, pick up all of this stuff. Um, we got something, the line rack uh, stuff we can buy now, so that's at least good. Um, and we're still not full. I don't think we'll be full on our inventory this for this uh, Let's Play, mainly because on hard it does say we will uh, not have enough ammo, so... Yeah. So, I gotta be prepared. I gotta be prepared! Hey! What's up, pal? Let's get rid of them legs, though. And maybe a few other things. So that was quick! I really love the... The kines Kinesis. It really helps. Somehow one Stasis, of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> We've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Alright, that's fine. Um, let's see. I might buy some, uh, how much, what do I have here? I have, uh, plasma, pulse rounds, flame fuel, and... Why are there two different pulse rounds? I, I don't know. We have no line rack though, so I'll buy a couple of those. Um, let's get a couple pulse rounds, and we don't have flame flamethrower fuel, so that's kind of uh, that kind of sucks. But hey, that's fine. Um, we have the cans set up in there, so we're good. We're good on what we have. I mean, it's not much, but we're good. So let's just quickly reload our flamethrower, which is not going to do much because, you know, uh, not enough. And we're going to go travel on to uh, Chapter 3 um, to help, so we can uh, continue on. So let's just do this. Wow, wow, wow. I, I, I just couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, I would like to save. We'll save on chapter two of hard, and we'll be good. So yeah, let's see. We got course correction. Okay, this is gonna be easy, or it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I do not know. I put more money on pain in the ass. Um, so yeah, course correction. So we're heading to the engine room. 
um, to fix the engines because apparently the engines are damaged. Now I don't know if this is gonna be good or bad. I don't. I don't know. I can't, I can't really you tell. Two problems, and we're working on borrowed time here. First, there's no fuel in the engines. Second, the gravity centrifuge is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. Okay, I can do that. Nothing says I can't, but I mean, I'll try. Um, so yeah. And right away I'm regretting this decision. So, yeah. Let's grab the flame fuel in there. Um, check this audio log. Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. It's been two days since they pulled that planet out since the captain died. The panic, the riots, they were nothing compared to what came after. Our friends, our co-workers started coming back. Changed, coming back to kill us, drag us away. Rucker disappeared this morning and I have to assume he's dead. My crew, they're starting to crack. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, but right now I have bigger problems. We're hemorrhaging fuel and the primary engine is laboring. Danvers and I are going to try to reach the fuel depot to see if we can fix it. Temple out. Okay, you might be wondering why I was destroying the body. Mainly because after what we just saw, uh, I am not taking any chances because, you know, um, who knows what could happen. They might come out, I don't know. I just don't want to fight any more of those super ultra powered ones. Because that will be a pain. And there's body li lying right there that looks a lot like a necromorph. Hey, buddy! And now we're good. Thank you. So let's just continue on. We should be good. I don't think any will come after us while I'm in here. Am I correct? I'm not really sure. What in the hell is going on here? Danvers, he's Henderson. He's crazy. He's pulling his own teeth out. Henderson, for God's sake. Oh, God. Is he dead? Relax. He's alive. But he hit that door pretty hard. Man, why would he do something like that? I don't get it. I don't get it either. Please explain. No. Okay. Let's quickly upgrade one of our weapons. I think, uh, maybe the, let's see, flame has capacity. Okay, nothing really helped me out here. Um, let's see, can I, no. You know what, let's, uh, focus on a rig, because we're going to need that HP, because I realize we've been losing our health way too quickly, and I kind of don't want to lose it, you know? So yeah, let's just continue on though, and hope that we'll be alright, um, and now I'm terrified. Let's just tear this body apart so we don't have to worry about one of those uh, necromorphs coming back as one of those powerful ones, because I do not want to deal with that. I don't even understand how, they're, uh, how they can do that, but I guess uh, it's a thing, so yeah. Just try and be careful here. Um, I did see that thing, that one. After. Oh crap! Hello? Hello? Okay, bye. Bye. I love you long time. I love you long time. <laughs> oh god, this is not good for me, huh? Let's see. Hey! At least you're not the baby. I mean, the baby would have been way more scarier. Um, okay. I don't know where the baby even went. Okay, not good, not good. I'm gonna grab you and bring you over here. And there's the body, so I am gonna move you out of my way. I am not dealing with no infect infected uh, necro bodies. That'd be a pain. Okay, I think we're good right now. We didn't head across and we'll be alright. But I guess we're gonna head across in the next video. Wait, I saw something. No, that's just light. Okay, well we'll be doing that in the next part. So make sure to leave a like and a subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time.
Bye!